Today we're making an all butter pie crust five different ways. And this next method, it's with the stand mixer. In my stand mixer bowl, I already have my pastry flour. And I'm gonna fit it with a paddle attachment. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar for caramelization and a little bit of salt for flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and work those in just by quickly. You don't want to put it on too high, otherwise you're gonna, you know, it's gonna blow up in your face. Um, and then you're gonna lose some more flour, and that'll be sad. Great, that's it. Next, we're gonna add our butter, which I've cubed into about one centimeter pieces. We're gonna put that in there. Kind of break it up as you put it in there. You don't want to, you know, touch it too much because it'll get too warm, and then it'll just kind of work into the dough like a cookie dough, and you don't want that. We'll start our mixer on slow. I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit, let it go. Um, but you want to keep an eye on it, make sure that it's not getting the pieces aren't getting too small. I do use a pastry flour because it has a lower gluten content. I talked about it a lot in my other segments but I'll just briefly touch on it again. Um, because gluten is that protein in flour, and it's what gives it the structure that you need for a pastry dough. And the butter, actually while we're, while we're cutting it in or incorporating it, is to shorten those strands so that it doesn't become too elastic or too tough, um, and it doesn't shrink on you. It's been about 45 seconds, and we've got We've got fairly large pieces, so we still have we've got some small pieces, but we also have some, some large ones here. We don't want that, no. Nope. So we're going to keep going. When I'm working with a stand mixer, I like to leave slightly larger pieces than I would if I were doing it by hand. Since we're going to continue to mix this while we add our water, it's going to work in a little bit more. Whereas um, when you're doing it by hand, you're not continuing to cut in the butter. So um, let me show you what I what I've got in here. Most of my chunks are smaller. I do have some some larger pieces like this one. Back and we go. So I do turn it down to the lowest speed. And I start adding my ice water. I do want it icy cold to keep that gluten from forming. I kind of pour it in about a tablespoon at a time in kind of a slow stream. I find when doing it with the machine, it's easier to overwork it. It's easier to add too much water. So whenever I do it with a stand mixer, I always finish by hand. So right now you can see I have um, shards of pastry. It's not coming together yet, but it's definitely starting to um, clump. That's what we want. Low speed and stream it slowly in. That way you won't add too much. Here. See, that's all it took, just a little bit extra. We're going to dump this out on the counter. Because if you learn anything from these segments, is that I love working with my hands with the pastry dough. It's just a wonderful feeling, honestly. If you have a bowl scraper, you can get all that out, which you should. You see how this is kind of shaggy? It didn't come together in a ball in the mixer, but it's still, it's you know, it's kind of crumbly, but there's no large patches of flour. So we're just gonna do the same thing we did when we were working by hand. Kind of push it with our, the heel of our hand just to, just to get it to come together. We don't want to mix in that butter. You don't need any extra bench flour here. Take my bench scraper, cut it in half, and I'm gonna work each of these into like a, just a little disc so that when um, again, we get ready to roll them, they're easier to roll out. We're gonna wrap these in plastic, and then we're gonna refrigerate them. Once you've wrapped your dough, you, can, you should chill it for at least two hours to allow the water to distribute and hydrate the flour, and then also to allow the butter to re-solidify so that you have a nice flaky crust. And that was the method for the stain mixer for making an all-butter pie crust.